Okay, imagine scrolling and seeing a bright orange owl in snowy Michigan. Not a new species, not a filter. It's a snowy owl that looks like it took a bath in pumpkin spice. Here's what I found and why it matters. Snowy owls are usually white with dark speckles. Michigan's thumb, Huron County. This bird has an orange or rusty tint across the back, head, upper wings. The underside, pretty normal. So what's going on? Almost certainly stained plumage, not a genetic orange. Color can change two ways, from the feathers themselves, or from stuff stuck to them. When it fades over weeks, that's a big clue it's external, reportedly fading in this case. Theory 1. Airport de-icing fluid. Snowy owls like flat open winter spaces, airports too. Type wine de-icing fluid is often dyed orange. Exposure routes, sprays, taxiways, runoff, mist can settle on dorsal feathers, the exact pattern we see. Theory 2. Environmental staining, iron-rich water, rust from old structures, clay-rich soils, back and head get stained when birds perch, hunt, or shelter on those surfaces. Theory 3. Natural oils and grime. Birds use preen oil. Preen oil can yellow feathers modestly, but deep orange usually needs extra pigment from dust, mud, organic tannins. Could it be genetic? Mutations can change melanin or carotenoids, but genetic color shows across molts and won't fade fast. Without feather or DNA tests, we can't rule it out, but it's least likely. Experts say it's rare. No definitive paper yet. Pattern, location, fading. Those three point to external staining. De-icer is front runner. So likely a snowy owl with a temporary human tinted makeover. Incredible bird, odd situation, not a new species. Admire from a distance. Don't approach crowd or flush owls. Grab a photo, share, and let science catch up.